today's topic is going to be chronic disease plus coronavirus, what to expect. So if you have chronic disease or any type of autoimmune disease, I want to share with you how it affects your body. So just be prepared that it will affect your body in a negative way. And I just want you to know <laughs> that you are strong and you are a fighter and anything that your body faces you can overcome because already you're such a warrior having chronic disease and autoimmune diseases. So just know that you are a warrior and you fought all your hard and worst days up until this point and you are surviving and thriving and even if you're not thriving, I can help you get there. <laughs> but just stay strong and know that you are strong. You have all the tools and capabilities inside of you and even in your community to help you get through Corona. But I do want to warn you and be truthful with you. Having chronic disease with coronavirus will affect you in a very large way. Now I know every person's experience is gonna be different but for those who have experiences like mine, <laughs> a little bit more severe, um, your body will be fighting for your life and um, you will <laughs> be completely focused on eradicating this pathogen outside of your body. Um, some of your diseases may not flare up while others may flare up but what happened with mine after I tested negative for Corona and it went into the antibodies, um, it, it flared up every single thing inside of me, even things that I've gone into remission. And I'm talking, um, it flared my IBD, left distal colitis, and I haven't had problems with that since I got off Lyme disease treatment in 2017. So I've been in a huge IBD flare and it's been horrific. All my symptoms have been back. Um, uh, my Epstein-Barr uh, virus got super flared. Um, my body has not been able to fight off other viruses since Corona. My diabetes uh, is now more normal, but it affected it so badly that I contracted all the ketones and it really messed me up in my levels and my A1C was a 6.2 to a 7.4%. So that's how badly it affected my diabetes. Uh, it flared up every other autoimmune disease. All my autoimmune diseases have been like coming back with a rampage since I tested negative for Corona. So I have been very sick um, and having all my symptoms that I have not experienced in such a long time. And I said that in the post COVID symptoms video, as well, which I'll link down below uh, so that you can kind of know exactly the details of that. But I just want you to expect uh, the truth and that is your chronic diseases may flare up a bit and you may experience things you haven't experienced in a while or you might experience things double the intensity. And as much as I like to be positive and be, you know, hopeful, um, reality is we with chronic disease will experience hardships and setbacks and rock bottoms with our health. And especially with a type of mechanism like coronavirus, it is unknown. No one knows how to deal with it. No one knows what, how it's gonna affect each person's body because it's been acting so differently in every person's body. Um, but the impact it does have is pretty severe on people with chronic disease. And it doesn't mean you can't survive it. It doesn't mean you can't get through it. Um, but it just means you need to be prepared for it. So you need to make sure you have a, all your supplies, um, you know, extra supplies for all your different types of diseases. Uh, that will be helpful. I want to help you uh, make sure that you are mentally and emotionally prepared to once again go into a battle where you're basically fighting for your life as well as all your other diseases all at once. And it's like the major battle of a lifetime and it is, it's traumatic, but you can get through it. You've gone through everything before. You've gone through losing your health. If you were not born with diseases and you ended up contracting diseases or developing chronic diseases later on in your life like me, 
Like you lost your health. You lost the entire life you knew before. You went and you survived that. If you can survive that, you can survive this. Like it's it's intense, it's traumatic, and it's rough, and um, it's awful, but it's something that you are mentally and emotionally prepared for, and I fully believe in your capability of overcoming because anyone with chronic disease knows how to handle their body in diseases, or hopefully they do. And if you don't, you know, seek help, seek um, some extra guidance, and um, even reach out to me, message, uh, but just know that you aren't alone through this and a lot of other people with chronic disease have experienced corona and overcome it. So um, just because the stats on some people were not so good and they were fatal doesn't mean that they'll be fatal for you. So just try to focus on that hope and then just focus on your ability to overcome and battle this war because it is a war and you are a victor and you are a warrior. So like I said before, if you have any questions or you need support, please comment below and I'll be here for you. But just know the reality of it is it's, it's pretty intense and what to expect is the war of your life. So just expect that and if you go in with those expectations um, and you develop your strength in your mindset and your spirituality and your emotions and just in general um, and your experience doesn't turn out to be that wow amazing you would have gone in with that strength and been able to overcome it anyways so either way it's a win so just try your best to not be fearful and you know if you get it get it you know how to take care of yourself and then do your best and just keep fighting